Good morning. This is the uh, first video where we can show you a direct impact of AI in your classroom teaching. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into GoFormative or formative.com. And then we have to turn on beta features in order to see this. So I'm going to click down here and I'm going to the settings for my account. And then if you scroll to the bottom, early access opt into beta features, you have to turn it on. So once you've done that, you're going to have access. So I'm going to come up here to my formatives and I'm going to open one that I've already got done just to add a question for it so I can show you. All right. So when I scroll to the bottom, this one here was created with AI. Okay. And so what I asked it to do is create me a paragraph. I'm going to do another one um, just to show you. So I'm going to click on the plus or the auto generate, either one. If I click on the plus, I have to come down here and generate an item. It's going to ask me what I want to generate. So I'm going to say a text passage. And you can choose, I want to generate multiple choice questions or a short answer question, and it will do it for you too. I can pick, you know, my subjects, everything else that I want, minimum, maximum word count. And then here's where it's important. You give it a prompt on what you want it to do. So I'm going to tell it to write a five paragraph story about wizards taking over Shenandoah Central Schools, period. All right, so I've got a, a prompt that I wanted to create a paragraph for me that I'm then going to ask some reading comprehension questions about. So I click generate, and now it will take it a minute or two. It's, you know, it's got to think just like everybody else. And so the um, large language model for, for it's using chat GPT is taking that prompt and it's going through a API with uh, formative to give us a text passage that we can then add questions to. Okay, so we'll pause. All right, so you can see it, it's given us a um, reading prompt. This one um, is of a more um, factual nature and I wanted more of a story. So I can come up here and I can change my prompt and add the word fictional in. And then I click regenerate. So if you don't like what you first get, you can always do it again. You get to choose grade level and other things like that that impact the complexity of the text. All right. So again, this one was much more of a, a factual accounting for it. So you fiddle with the prompt until you get the kind of um, story that you want in your, oh, I think maybe it's because I'm picking genre and in inform, informative article here. I click the close that, select it out and pick fiction. It'll probably give me a better one. I'm not going to generate another one for you, but um, changing all of these settings does feed to the chat GPT bot that produces your text. So you got to make sure you have things where you want them. All right. So that's using AI to generate questions and or text informative. All right, this next tip comes from Google Sites, and it's one of those things that's been bothering us for a while. So um, I'm going to show you two different sites here, and then I'll show you how to, to change it. So this is a Google Site now on what they call wide or full screen um, display. So the text now stretches from side to side on the complete screen and resizes for people based on their screen size. Previous to that, you might have remembered that there was always a, an annoying left and right margin that was empty, and you couldn't put anything in it whether you tried or not. So how do you set up this uh, change in the page so that you can use the full size of the screen? You come up here to themes, and what you're going to have to do is create a custom theme to do this. The default ones still have those wide margins on each side. So once you've set it up, um, I'll show you where it is. I'll edit this theme so you can see. Down here in the spacing section of the theme, you got to answer a bunch of questions about colors and what font you want first. But then you get here and you get spacing, site width. You now have three choices. The default is that one with the wide margins. You can do a narrower margin, or you can do full screen where the text will go from side to side. So it will do this for your entire site and all the sub pages. So make sure it's what you want. You cannot do it individually by page. It is a whole site setting. Okay, so you set up your theme custom one, you come down here to spacing and you set it to wide or full to get the extra space available.
don't forget you do have to publish after you do that in order for people to see the changes.